Today on Rallies and Rides, we're going to explore packing techniques. The days of just stuffing things into your saddlebags and then having to unpack and repack at every stop are over. We're going to explore layering as well as how to pack the essentials and make the most out of the storage that you've got. Join me as we take a look at packing techniques on Rallies and Rides. I want you to visualize the sad bag being broken down into four layers. Layer four, three, two, and layer one. Let's start with layer four. Layer four needs to be the items that you're not going to be getting out except maybe once a day. Those need to be things like the next day's clothes, toiletries, cosmetics, other items that have really no importance except for when you're at the hotel or done riding for the day. Layer three needs to be items that you may or may not access about one time during your ride. Those are gonna be the items such as heavy sweatshirts, thick layers, and or items such as uh, um, hats or things that you're gonna maybe get out once halfway during your ride. You want those in that middle layer so that you can get to them but yet still not have to unpack your whole saddlebag. Layer two needs to be essential items. These are items that you're gonna be accessing several times during your ride. You're going to be going to the top of the saddlebag and pulling things in and putting them back. These are gonna be the essentials such as bandanas, gloves, sweatshirts, light layers, uh, long sleeve t-shirts, things like that. So you want the layer that you're not going to be getting at except once a day, the layer that you may or may not access once during your ride, and then the items that you're going to be getting at regularly. I reserve the trunk, if you do have a trunk, for items such as the gloves, the scarves, bandanas, helmets, um, my wife puts her purse in that area. Those are going to be the items that you're going to be getting at every time you stop. So when you think about packing, I'd like you to start thinking in layers and that will help you start to structure how you're going to get what you need and not have to take the bottom layer out just to get to something. So layer four, three, two, one. Now, if you don't have the trunk, then essentially what you need to do is you need to think of that top layer as also being combined with layer one. Layer one and two, gloves, light shirts, um, bandanas, those types of items. So that's what you're going to be using if you just have saddlebags. Let's take a look at some dash storage. In my guidebooks, I talk about great opportunities for storage up close. These three pockets up here allow you to store the essentials that you'll be accessing regularly during your ride. Things such as gloves, sunglasses, chapstick, sunscreens, the things that you might not think about, but after eight or 10 hours on the road, you're gonna be realizing that you're gonna want pretty regularly. Go out and look for yourself a nice windshield bag or some nice dash storage such as this. You'll really find that it improves your overall trip experience. In my opinion, a saddlebag essential, and luckily now included in most new motorcycles, is actually the motorcycle saddlebag luggage. It's a bag that pulls out quickly. It's very efficient. The days of actually just stuffing your saddlebags are gone. These are available through many aftermarket companies and like I said on lots of touring motorcycles now are standard. What we're going to do now is we're going to actually take a look at some packing techniques using some of the layer methods as well as some other methods to help you utilize your space and get the most out of this right here. 
What I have prepared here is essentially a weekend ride for myself. A couple pairs of pants, a couple shirts, um, my chaps, jacket, some gloves. The very basic essentials that I would use if I were just going to go out of town for a few days. Let me show you what just regular packing versus layer packing and then rolling your clothes is going to look like. So essentially, if we were just to take our saddlebag here, unzip it, and just lay our clothes in there, for a few day trip, we'd be fine. You could fit two pairs of pants in there, fit your shirts in there comfortably, fit your jacket. But in doing so, we have also pretty well filled up the saddlebag with what we've got to take. Let me show you how we can condense this, make it smaller, and essentially fit twice as much by using the layer packing as well as the rolling method. Let me demonstrate while rolling your clothes is far more efficient than just stacking them. What I recommend you do is you take the clothes that you're going to need for that particular day. A little bit of planning is going to go a long way in this. You'll take your shirts, your pants, your socks, your underpants, everything else that you're going to be wearing for that day and simply nice and tightly start rolling your clothes. It's going to prevent wrinkles and ultimately what it's going to do is it's going to create one whole outfit for you in a much smaller, cleaner, tighter setup. There's one day's outfit. Get the second one here rolled up and I'll show you how much tighter they fit in that saddlebag. So remember, you want to roll your clothes not fold them when you're trying to maximize your space when packing. Essentially two outfits right here. Grab that saddlebag again. Knowing that I'm not going to need these until the next day. We'll set that in there. Set that in there. And what you can see is there's a lot more space now to take two more rolls and keep moving in that direction. Rolling your clothes is far more efficient than just folding them when packing. So what we have here is a visual of what your layer should look like. The clothes that we're going to need for the next couple days, our riding gear that we might need halfway through the day, our essentials, gloves and bandanas. It's clean, it's neat, it's organized, and it's a far more efficient way of packing your motorcycle for a long trip. Before I ever started traveling with saddlebags, I used to use a lot of compression bags. I had a soft tail at the time and bags just didn't fit the look of the motorcycle, but I was traveling quite a bit. A compression bag really allowed me the opportunity to stuff a lot of things in there and then using these straps around it, cinch it down real tight. It gives it a nice clean look and the nylon bags are extremely durable. Today with the luxury of touring motorcycles, luggage racks and things like that, I still find myself using the compression bag for the clothes that just didn't fit in the saddlebags. I set the bag up, cinch it down tight with the straps, secure it properly, making sure that I read my owner's manual and do not exceed the weight of these luggage racks. But, set in a couple pairs of clothes, maybe a jacket on here, and these bags ride really nice. I would recommend picking yourself up some compression bags if you don't have them. You can find those on our website under the store section. A compression bag is a must have and something that I've been using for years as a motorcycle traveler. Let me show you one other method that really helps utilize the space that you've got. When traveling and picking up those famous dealership t-shirts, you have to kind of find ways to stuff them or pack them or get them in the motorcycle, correct? Let me show you a trick that helps you take a t-shirt, get it as small as possible, and really stuff them well. 
We're gonna do an old fold method. First, you wanna lay your shirt flat. Taking about two inches, fold it underneath itself. Take one end, fold it to the middle, pull that sleeve over. Take the second end, pull it over, tucking that sleeve in also. Starting at the top, opposite of where our end is folded, you want to just start tucking this shirt in as tight as you can. The tighter the better, so take your time and get it nice and tight as you start to roll it down. You might need to correct the shirt a little bit, but that's not a problem. Keep rolling it all the way to the very end. Once you get to the end of the shirt, you've got a nice roll like that, and you've got this extra piece of shirt here that we had folded. So now I want you to take this piece and fold it around that open end of the shirt. So this is where we stopped rolling, and we want to fold that shirt up around that. And we end up with a nice tight t-shirt can take a beating and keep on going. So there you have the proper way to roll your t-shirt. I want to thank you for joining me on our luggage and packing segment. I hope that you found some of these tips valuable and will apply them to your trips this summer. Stay tuned, we've got other great episodes coming up involving exactly what you should be packing, the essentials with packing lists, as well as some new technologies that we're going to be looking at that are lighter, warmer, and allow you to essentially take up less space also when traveling. If you like what you've seen, subscribe to our channel. We appreciate that. And join me this summer as we explore more of the Northwest. For Rallies and Rides, I'm Eric Geip.